Day two without uses. Food supplies running low. Water getting polluted. Crazy plant monsters outside our windows. I love you, mom. Let's go fight this thing. I spent some time before this to reconfigure our equipment, and I realized that I have forgotten to put uh, any sort of accessories on any of my characters except for Ring. Which may explain the difficulty we've been having. And I've also taken all attack out of Machias. He's now completely useless. Don't let it you. Go. Oh hey. A nice crit coming up very, very close to us. So uh let's take this opportunity. Alright, let's do this! Yeah. Leave it to me. Yep, just practicing, don't worry. Okay, I have a free art turn coming up, which is nice. Because it's a good opportunity to cast this. Anybody who's not dead? Here's my rule, we'll let the first S-Crap every single episode play out. Alright. We did a thing. Leave it to me. You're not that tough, are you? But he gets two turns in a row, and that's gonna hit everybody. Yep. Okay. Not so good now. He's also very fast. And I'm not sure if I like that very much. Okay, hold on, let's think about this. I need to move her out of the way. Here we go. Move him out of the way. Okay, stay alive, Ring. Good. Um. Yeah, why not? My turn. Okay, it makes sense. He's a plant, so he is weak to burning. But I don't think I can. Ring's gonna die very soon if I don't do anything about it. And I don't want to march V over there to help him because. That's a sure way of getting ourselves killed. I also don't want to attack with her because of blindness. So why don't we do this? Not the best at casting stuff, but she will do. I'll show you somebody who is good at casting. Hold on, let's check. Okay, Earth is fine, but everything else... You know what, let's do this instead. It's a more productive use of our turn. I don't have an AOE heal, so this is the best I can do. Okay. Right. He's not doing that much, to be honest. Uh, nobody's in range for the full package. This will do, though. It's not a heal, but it does something. Is that it? Is that it? No, nope, not quite. Right. Everybody's still alive. Still alive. Alright, let's, let's I think we should finish this now. 100. No, that's that's too slow. I think this will be do it. See ya! Let's keep going! Uh, that fight that fight was like a uh, an early morning walk very refreshing I feel like I'm going stronger a plus outcome success everybody leveled up no big deal much better when use is not around <laughs> it's I'm actually coming back to it Working with people isn't so bad, after all. Especially you, Ring. I, I love working with you, Ring. Okay. Alright, Machias, welcome back to our group. 
A plus outcome. Checkmate. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of something I can say about nobles, but nothing's coming to mind. We uh, we really shotgun this one. Nothing better than getting mace found by a 14 year old. He's not even here! Oh my goodness, Ring, don't push your luck. Okay. Ah, youth. You know, they've already kind of accepted each other. Right now, it's just all, um,. It's all advertisement. Public public relationships. Nobody wants to be seen as the one who's giving them first. This fight is personal! Wait, do we need to go to the bridge any further? I don't think so. There's a crate there. That is a fake crate. No, that's not a crate at all. Actually, what would happen if I... Oh, nice spot for... Alright, we got a fish. Not every day we find a nice spot. We only have three times. And you are gonna fish with me. How about we play a game? What kind of fish will I catch? Not bad. I got a rock eater. That's what they called me in high school. Also, I am unreasonably bothered by the fact that the fishing rod is clipping into the side of the walls. I mean, PS3 technology and all, but... Kasagin. If you recall, Kasagin was also the name of a fish in Trails of Sky series. It is the fish you needed to catch in order to catch the bigger fish. Whose name I have forgotten because I've never caught one. Caught one. I was able to win that thing with uh, the fishing challenge with the, the fishing master by ca catching a bunch of blue marlins. It's all luck. That guy seems to be. looks like he's coughing all over the place. At least leave him alone. He needs a little, little time for himself. Alright, is there anything else we need to do? I think we finished everything. Let's go back. Ignore the snake eggs. If my egg, if I opened my fridge and that came out of my egg... Well, I wouldn't be speaking to you today. Ah, nothing beats a peaceful morning. Rest and re relaxation? Uh oh. Hey sirs, do you want to relax with us? My name's Ring, the relaxing master. You are those friends. Wait, those students. Uh oh. Anybody, anytime anybody comes to us and say something quote unquote, it's probably bad news. Okay, looks like Machias is being set up. This is not a drill! What? This is not helping our cause. We just made up with him. Interesting. I think that's the reason they took away Yusus, so that they can make this sort of accusations without him getting in the way. Now, I wonder... This all seems to be planned. Getting Yusus out of the way. 
knowing that Machias is coming here. Our plan. They're anticipating that line of defense. It feels like should we should we just go ahead and blow everybody up? Right. Hmm. And everybody made friends with one another. Well, Machias is gone. We couldn't stop him. Sorry, Machias. Nice seeing you. Uh, Emma will take the role of the class president now. Who are you? So obviously, Machias is the son of Governor Regnitz, and the conflict is happening between the noble faction and the uh, the imperial government. So, he's a person of interest is kind of the best way to describe this whole entire thing. I guess they're trying to take him in and use him as a bargaining chip. Gurk. Yep. Bargaining chip Machias. Now, of course, he was sent to this location by your friend of mine, Sarah. Yeah. They don't even need an excuse because it's just their jurisdiction. You have no rights here. <laughs> Due process. He's also arrested. It's pretty, it's pretty clear at this point that this is all set up. I'll plan it off from the beginning. Now I wonder if um, Rufus was in on all of this because conveniently all of this is taking place while he is leaving. So you could think that this is all planned by Duke Albrea behind their backs. But I feel like Rufus is not somebody who can be fooled so easily. He seems to have much more together than this. This is too simple a, a strategy. Oh, interesting. They've actually... Hmm... What is the point of searching the hotel room? Is it trying to find stuff that we have? Is our luggage is up there. Maybe it is to try to keep an eye on them. All right, anyway, we got Earthbound, that's all that matters. Artisan Street, where no soldier ever goes, those two are still standing there. They were there in the morning, they're still standing there. And those two as well. Baron Poe looks like he has an age a day, but inside he's just dying. Not yet, anyway. If you know what I mean, tensions will be high on Machia soon, too. <clears throat> yeah. 
Well, things are going down, that's for sure. One thing you'll learn about this game is every single field trip, something even worse happens. The first one is, you know, a little conflict. Second one is kidnapping. Political kidnapping. What's next? Murder? I shudder to think. I shudder to think. Also, well, he's gone. Or it could be he's the one who planned it. And then by leaving, he has an alibi and also um, gets out of the way of any sort of potential questioning. Because I'm not trusting Rufus, let's put it that way. <laughs> Fee is very practical. So all we have to do actually is to get him out of Brea Heart because they're able to arrest Machias only because he is in their territory. So if they can take him for example back to the, the academy or to the capital, uh, they can't come after them because this is the, the noble guards, the provincial guards. And once you're out of the province, it's all over. As I said, Fee is very practical. What's the monster in the underwear? Hmm. This guy, slightly suspicious. I see where you're going with this, my fair fair-haired friend. Blonde-haired man. Okay, close enough. Legram. So he is from Legram? Okay. He also likes to be scratched. This guy, you're you're too you're being too obvious, man. I know you're trying to drop us a hint here, but and you, sir, have a very large boots. <laughs> you tell me about it. I, I remind he reminds me of Blue Blanc. Their methods are different, but they both are horrible at subtlety. Maybe one of them is intentionally being horribly at subtlety, the other one just doesn't know. Well, anyway. Oh, he's a bracer. Of course he's a bracer. That means you can trust him. No bracer in this world is a bad person. You have to walk through a bad person detector before you can become a bracer. And you know where to take bracer that has gone too far. There's a place, special place for him called uh, Ouroboros. Osborne's gone, gotten rid of all the bracers here.
I just realized that Zemuria is some sort of、uh, Australia because instead of having normal pests, you have monsters. So instead of having like a small garden spider, you have giant ancient spiders. That must be a comforting place to live. Yep, that's what we'll do. There's also a chest down there which I want to take up. All right, Bracer Man, you issued us a challenge, and we accept. Actually, you know what? This guy is very lonely, standing by him, by himself on this corner. What's up? What's up, buddy? <laughs> He's completely out of the know. You're a nice guy. Don't sweat it. All right. Okay, so、um, we're gonna end this episode here. Next time, we will get our boots dirty and head into the source, so we can rescue Machias and maybe also rescue Yusus. Thanks for watching. See you next time.